Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell's speech today, saying that all senators are going to go on this historical record of where they stand. Of course, he's opposed to it, and he thinks that this is horrible for the institution. And then Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said essentially the same thing, that this is an important vote for that historical record, yeah. and some senators are going to be on the wrong side of history, and other senators are going to be on the right side of history. Last night, before blocking the nation's opportunity to bolster voters' rights, well, Senate Republican Mitch McConnell said the quiet part out loud. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. At a news conference on Wednesday, Mitch McConnell basically let us know that black people in the United States aren't Americans. Here's the senator from Kentucky. Uh, what, what's your message for voters of color who are concerned that without the John L. Lewis Voting Rights Act, they're not going to be able to vote in the midterm? Well, the concern is misplaced because if you look at the statistics, African American voters are voting in just as high a percentage as Americans. This is clearly how Mitch McConnell sees the U.S. black population, as not being Americans. This sentiment would actually kind of be on par with our founding fathers who held the notion that black people weren't people entitled to that whole life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness thing. But of course, McConnell would never openly admit that. Instead, the 79-year-old will simply do everything in his power to prevent black people and other marginalized groups from having fair and equitable access to the vote. As Citizens for Ethics observed in this tweet, when Mitch McConnell says we don't need to protect voting rights because African-American voters are voting in just as high a percentage as Americans, he makes it clear why we need to protect voting rights. We saw that need last night as 52 Republicans, wait, excuse me, I mean 50 Republicans plus two purported Democrats, Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin, voted down a proposed change to filibuster rules, which would have enabled the John Lewis Voting Rights Act to actually pass. Only 48 Democrats voted to do that. 52 votes uh, in favor of preserving the rules. Those two Democratic votes in favor of preserving the rules came from Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. And this act would have removed some of the barriers primarily faced by black and brown voters in time for the midterm elections. And that is definitely something that Mitch McConnell and co. do not want. But back to McConnell's remarks sans the implicit racism. The senator is correct in that black voting turnout has been higher in very recent years, but that's because voting access was expanded in response to the pandemic. More states have allowed for mail-in voting and greater flexibility than those who want to get to the ballot box have ever had. So given that, that turnout and greater numbers of black and brown voters, basically these Republicans are intentionally looking to keep people who look like me from accessing the vote. Because as McConnell implied in his statement, People like me aren't real Americans after all. You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the like and follow button. And thanks for watching.